Time now for Kara's Cures, and with more than half of parents uh, still struggling with mental health, having come through the pandemic and you know, still oh, in it's it. It's unbelievable. Joining us now to uh, talk about some tips to alleviate burnout and thrive instead of just survive is social impact expert Lisa Nur uh, Newberger Fernandez. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, so what, what did the pandemic do to parents? It, it, it just exacerbated certain problems, right? It did, absolutely. We set out to write Rebalance to really reflect on what working parents, both moms and women, uh, excuse me, both moms and dads can do to thrive as we're juggling all the different aspects of our life. Yeah, and you have some points you've come, I mean, you've come through this yourself as uh, someone who's helped corporations make changes. And, you know, sometimes we know we need to be the CEO of our own lives, but so many people are just putting out fires, right? So if you're feeling burned out, which I know so many moms and dads are, uh, what do you do? What's the first step? You say you need to sit at the decision making table. Yes, when the pandemic started, I was thinking a lot about being the captain of my own ship in the context of my career and how to really navigate um, through to where I want to be. But as the pandemic went on, I realized that navigating through and being the captain of our own ship in our lives and for our health and for our family's health is absolutely critical. Some of the keys to resilience in a crazy situation include some of the basic things that we all know about R and R, R being rest, and the other R being relaxation. Sleep is one of the keys that unlocks the mysteries of life here. And <laughs> the other one is relax. So, you know, there's a reason why on the airplanes, they say, put on your mask first. If you don't, you might pass out and you can't help your neighbor, you can't help your child, you can't help the steward. But if you put your mask on first, that's really an invitation to be selfish. And sometimes being selfish about your own mental health, your own physical health is the most selfless thing that we can do. So message for parents is to, you know, put your mask on first and do the things that you need to relax, whether that's taking a walk outside, looking at the trees and mindfulness, deep breathing, whatever it takes. Because if you're there for yourself, you can be there for your family. Right, can you talk to us about the wheel and how, how creative that is, and what do we need to do? Yeah, so the wheel is a great exercise. All you need to do the wheel exercise is to take out a piece of paper and a pen and draw a circle. Think about all the different aspects of your life that are important to you, whether it's um, your family, whether it's your career, whether it's your physical health or your mental health. Then just count up how many elements you have, and that's the number of pizza slices that you put on your wheel. And then comes the really interesting part. Then you start shading the wheel. Think that the outside circle of the wheel, that's your ideal. It's not your husband's ideal. It's not your mother's ideal. It's your ideal. And you see how far you, how close you are to your ideal. Once you do all the shading, you can see the white space. And that white space, those are your opportunity areas. Now, when we wrote Rebalance, we believe that it's possible to have it all, but not all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the white space in your life, you think, what are the one or two or three things that I want to focus on now? Where do I want to put my priorities? And it's really up to you. It's, it's a self-guided exercise. Yeah, and I think that's great because you have a visual, right? Uh, so you can see like, all right, this is, I didn't get much shading here. This is where I want to focus, which can help. But in order to do that, and women sometimes, I think we wear a badge of honor. Of, okay, yes, I'll do it. Yes, I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Yes, I can be the impossible. Um, but you want to normalize setting boundaries because that's the first step. We need to be able to say no and maybe take out the things that are our energy drains. Exactly. Saying no is actually one of the hardest things to do. And I try to find ways to say no without using the word no. I find that sometimes that helps. But being able to set boundaries in your life is one of the things that allows us to survive. Like, for example, when I was um, working a crazy job and I would get all these calls and emails first thing in the morning. And my friend asked me, one of my, our co-authors, Wendy, asked me, you know, why do you have to check your email before you have your morning coffee, before you do some exercise, you know, before you get going? And I realized, actually, I didn't. I could set some boundaries. I could say, I'm not going to check my email until, you know, until I get to work, which was, let's say, eight o'clock. 
So that was a great boundary that really helped me and start off with a more peaceful day, something that um, I yeah. found very helpful. So everybody's wheel will look a little bit different. Is that exactly. Okay, just want to make sure, like, yes. Kara's pizza slices aren't the same as my pizza slices. Well, if I cut my, color my family uh, slice, and I'm like, okay, this is where it's good, and you might, you know, color your shopping part of your wheel, exactly. and it's great, and the, you need more sleep. <laughs> Not only will everyone's wheel be different, but your own wheel can be different depending on when you do it. If I wrote my, if I drew my wheel today, I would have a very different view than like two years ago before the pandemic started. And that's the beauty of the wheel. You can do it as many times as you want. And it's about setting your own priorities and spending your time well at the time, you know, at this moment. Um, but it's a dynamic process. So feel free to redo your wheel whenever you're, you're looking for that next horizon. Wow. Well, the book is called Rebalance, How Women Lead, Parent, Partner, and Thrive. Uh, it's coming out any day now, May 31st, and we're going to have a deeper dive on Kara's Cures. You can join us on WFSB Plus, our streaming channel later on, and uh, we'll get a little bit more into the wheel and how we can normalize setting boundaries. So thanks for being with us, Lisa. And remember, you can already pre-order this book, Rebalance, on Amazon. Thank you. Excellent.